Hi, my name is Amy Smith and I am a homeschooling mom. I have three wonderful children and we homeschool using the Charlotte Mason method. Now, I am not a purist, but I love reading her volumes and I like to take things from other places as well. Um, so just to have a caveat there, I um, am also a director with Osborne Books and More and I wanted to share with you today some of the books that could be beneficial for your homeschool if you utilize the Charlotte Mason method. Some of the books from Osborne Books and More. Starting with this beautiful book called It's All It All Starts with a Seed, How Food Grows. And this book is similar to the Handbook of Nature Study that many of us have. It has a lot of information about various different plants and how plants grow. It could be helpful with nature journaling. Many beautiful illustrations there that could be used, especially during the winter time, if you want to nature journal from inside or get inspiration for, um, for various narrations. It all starts with a seed. This is a large hardcover book. We also have a book called The Outdoor Book, and this book inspires children to discover the outdoors, and it's full of ideas, um, such as cloud spotting. You can see there, and it'll share ideas for how you can cloud spot. Tree Detective talks about various types of trees. You can see the differences between the broadleaf trees there at the riverbank. So the illustrations are watercolor. They're really lovely. There's, they're not cartoony. Um, investigating the woods, obstacles and trails. This is a hardcover book as well, the outdoor book. We also just came out with 1,000 Things in Nature. We have a couple other 1,000 Things books, but this one is so exciting. As you can see on the cover, the illustrations are so beautiful. These books are, are hardcover, um, hardcover, but also board book pages. They're very thick, so they're good for our youngest children. And there's many different, um, different pages. Backyard Wildlife, Feather Eggs and Nests creepy crawlies, and just look there, you can see many different types of birds' eggs, which is just perfect. If you're reading a Burgess book, or you're reading something by Buckley, you can look and find some of the, the objects in nature that some of those books are talking about. I love this book, and again, the illustrations are really beautiful, really respectful to children. So those are some of the science and um, nature books that I'd recommend. There's just one more. We have these lovely pocket books. And these books include photographs of real live um, animals. In this case, here's some insects. And you can get some information there for various types of insects. We also have one on birds, which is perfect again for that Burgess Bird book. Um, we can see some sparrows and things in there. But we also have ocean animals and reptiles. Mammals and Predators. I love the Predators one. My son especially loves seeing some of the snakes and Komodo Dragon there. And then we also have Natural Wonders and Cities of the World. I love the Natural Wonders. You can see various mountains and just beautiful sights around the world. So again, these books are photographs and I think they're really helpful if you're reading something else in your homeschooling, a great supplement. So moving on to art. Um, art and music. We have our famous artist book and our famous painting book. The famous painting is a hardcover and the famous art a famous artist is a flexi binding. So famous artists, if you're doing some art study and you're working on one artist per per month, um, similar to what we do, you can still supplement with some of these beautiful books. Just have it out for a child. So we actually just did Rembrandt. This was a beautiful um, picture that we didn't have as part of our art study. Um, but it, it goes on to Vermeer. Some beautiful details, and you can see the illustrate or the the portraits that are included are um, very large. This is a great um, coffee table book as well. It's very beautiful. Famous artist is going to show a couple different works from one artist. Let's see here. Going back to Rembrandt. There's Rembrandt. And then you can see some of his works. And of course the Night Watch there. So it goes through many artists. 
and talks about their very their lives and goes through all the way from um, the Renaissance through the Baroque period and into the Romantic and modern periods. We have a classical music book as well as a composer's book, and these are nice if you're doing composer study or hymn study, if you're going through um, Then Sings My Soul or something like that, this can be a nice supplement. And again, there's beautiful classical um, paintings included and some bite-sized chunks of information if your child is interested in learning a little bit more than what your text is offering them. Uh, moving on, I wanted to share some of our Shakespeare books. Um, we have a beautiful rendition of, um, these are all abridged, so it's not going to be the quotations from Shakespeare, but I know that we all either use Nesbitt or Lamb. This is an alternative to one of those adaptations. It's for probably a little bit older. Um, it has Midsummer's Night's Dream, Twelfth Night, Romeo and Juliet, Corian Coriolanus, Love's Labor's Lost, and many of Shakespeare's plays. You can see that they're all, they're all there in the contents. And at the beginning of each, it's going to have, and it might be a little bit cartoony there, but I, I personally like them because it talks about each of the characters before. Probably you would use it after you jumped in and read, and read the whole play, Richard II. But this is a really lovely and very thick, beautiful version that you can have as a keepsake. To supplement, we also, Us Farm Books is really famous for our see inside and our look inside with the flaps. We have a see inside the world of Shakespeare, which you might be interested in looking at with your kids. It goes into the plays and um, the Renaissance period when Shakespeare lived, tragic tales. So that might be a fun supplement if you were willing to kind of branch out. Lots of love the flaps there with the world of Shakespeare. There is a World of Shakespeare reference book, and this is going to go through um, Shakespeare's times, um, various, uh, how he worked, how he lived, the dangers he faced, and discovering all the plays he wrote um, and through, through the years. And it has classic paintings of various adaptations of his works. And lastly, we have a really fun kind of Where's Waldo book. This is Where's Will. We also have Where's Jane and Where's the Ballerina. The ballerina one takes um, the child through various famous ballets. And then Where's Jane is, of course, taking Where's Jane in her novel. So that's really fun. This one is Where's Will. And you're going to look for Will William Shakespeare in his play. This is Much Ado About Nothing. And you find him in the various scenes from that play. And again, that might not um, be exclusively Charlotte Mason, but it's exploring Shakespeare even further. And lastly, I wanted to share two picture um, books that might be beneficial to you. Here's a beautiful Aesop's Fables book. Um, it has this soft hardcover and a ribbon marker, and it includes various fables, and they're all categorized by the lessons that are going to be learned. Pride, trickery, greed, quarrels, friendship, cunning, so they're all kind of marked there. And really sweet illustrations, beautiful uh, watercolors there on almost each page of the, of the book. The dog and the bone. A little simplified, but perfect for your year one, form one. And lastly, Olga de Poga. This was written by the author of Paddington Bear. And this is so, so fun. It's about a sweet little guinea pig named Olga. And all the places she likes to explore and the trouble she likes to make um, with the fibs <laughs> she tells. It's very, very fun. And... Kane Miller has exclusive rights, which is um, the publisher Us Born Books and More uses one of them. In, in addition to Us Born Publishing, we carry Kane Miller books. It's so beautiful and just a lovely, lovely story. Uh, it's a great chapter book, a great literature read aloud for you and your family to enjoy. I hope that you found something from Us Born Books and More that you didn't see before, and you might be open to looking into them. Enjoy homeschooling your kids.